Look at this video. It got 60 million views only by teaching kids the alphabet in a very simple and unique way. This type of content is highly recommended and is mainly watched by parents, teachers, and kids themselves because it adds so much value to their lives. With the rise of AI tools, creating these type of videos is super easy. All you need is a lesson, a voiceover, and some graphics to show up on the screen. And when you look at this video carefully, it only has a letter they are talking about and some objects that starts with that same letter. And when you look at their channel, they're getting millions of views just by creating these alphabet videos for kids. And to create these type of videos and get these millions of views, the first thing that you need is a lesson which can be achieved very easy using AI tools. You can use AI tools like ChatGPT, and once you're on ChatGPT, you can give it this simple prompt to say create a lesson for kids that teaches them about the letters of the alphabet, say each letter individually, and list the words that starts with that same letter. And just like that, ChatGPT will go ahead and write the lesson for you in a way that you've asked it to write it for you. For example, here it has given us the lesson to say we are learning about the letters of the alphabet, and the first one is letter A. For letter A, we have Apple, we've got an ant, we've got an airplane. It has also included the images that we must add in the video. The same applies with letter B and letter C and so forth up to the end. I will leave this same prompt that I've used in the video description below so that you can grab it and use it for your own project. Once that is done, all you have to do is copy everything and once you copy the lesson all you have to do is to convert this same lesson into an audio file and to do that we can use 11 lab this is one of the best text to speech ai tools that i highly recommend and it is monetizable do not worry about that all you have to do is come to where it says a speech and once you are there all you have to do is paste in your prompt like that so this is where the magic happens so here we've got a is for apple and and airplane so what you have to do is do not click on generate yet but what you have to do is make sure that you space them so that the ai tool can also be able to give you that room in between the words and like if you leave it just like that it will cruise through the entire lesson and give you something which is not spaced so here where it starts with a4 i will leave some spaces like that i'll come to apple i'll leave some spaces like that and i'll come to and i will leave some spaces like that until i finish with everything the next thing that you need to do is to add some punctuation marks because when you add punctuation marks there is a feeling that the ai tool will get from your text if i add a full stop to my word there is a way it will sound and if I add an exclamation mark, there is also a way it will sound. So make sure that you punctuate your text carefully and nicely so that you don't get stressed out when the AI to generate something that you didn't want it to generate for you. You can just add in a greeting that says, Hi kids, today we will learn about the letters of the alphabet, which ChatGPT didn't give us in the first place. From there, you just have to be creative. After that, I've added in some exclamation mark to my letters. And from there, here where it says A4, I've added here again to say A4 Apple. I've also repeated the same thing like A4 Ant and A4 Airplane. Same applies with B. So we've got B4, the number one, B4, Bo and b4 bear and same applies with c so from there all i just have to do is come to this button here so that you can choose your voice over artist so there are a lot of them so pick the one that you prefer and from there all you have to do is click on the generate button and from there you can just click on where it says download that's if you are happy with the results that it has given to you what you simply have to do is you can try different voice over artists until you come up with that one who satisfies your need or if it is not like that, you can simply record the audio yourself in a manner or way that you want it to sound. And once that is done, all you have to do is come to Canva. This is the software that is easy to use. And this is the software that we're going to use to create these same type of videos. And from here, you can click on where it says create a design and come to where it says create a video. And once the blank canvas opens up, the first thing I would recommend you to do is upload your audio to Canva, the one that you've generated using AI tools or the one that you've just recorded by yourself. Once that is done, all you have to do is grab your audio and drag it on the timeline like that. So once your audio is dragged on the timeline, this is where the magic happens. Every person you see creating a video, they take much of their time when it comes to editing the video. 
compared to creating the video itself. So this is where I would encourage you to take most of your time in. So what you have to do from here is so you listen to your audio here where it says number one A. So I want us to have a page specifically for letter A. So to do that, we'll cut the page like that and we will cut the audio like that. So cut it on both sides, the page and the audio like that. So on this page where it introduces letter A, this is where I want us also to add letter A. So the first thing that we can do is we can add a background color to our image if we do not like the white color which is there. So we can simply come here to this background, to this color panel, and we can select a color that we prefer for our video. If we do not like any of these colors, we can also come to elements and we can search for background colors. And after choosing our background color, we can, can fill the screen like that. And once it fills the screen like that, what we have to do is to bring in letter A to the scene. So though there are two words, we can come to text and just write letter A like that. And we can increase the size of letter A like that. And from there, we can add in some effects, like an outline like that. We can just add in a shadow like that. And we reduce the offset. We choose the shadow color into something dark like that. And we play with all the settings. Or oh, we can come to elements and we can just type in 3D letter A and we can come to graphics and we can select any of these letter A's. So it's all up to you. You can choose the one that works best for you. So I'll leave it just like this for the sake of this tutorial. And once this is done, what I have to do is I'll add in an animation to letter A. I would love it to pop to the screen. Then from there, what I have to do is I'll add in an animation to the color as well. So I would love the color to drift from the left to the right hand side. So from there I can play to see how everything looks. So once that is done, all you have to do is go to the next page. So here where it introduces letter A, I would love us to split the pages. Since we are still talking about letter A, so what we we'll simply have to do is we'll bring this um, purple color to this page and we'll also bring letter A to this um, page. The only difference is that they will be here at the end so that here in front we can introduce in our characters. I'll select letter A, I'll duplicate it like that, then I'll drag my letter A and I'll place it to the next page like that. Then I'll go back, I'll select the page color like that, I'll also duplicate it, Ctrl D, and I'll drag it to my next page like that. From there what I'll simply have to do is I'll, I'll come to layers and I'll send it to the back like that and I'll place my my color here and I'll also place letter A here. This is perfect. So once you do that you need now to bring in other elements. So the first element is an apple so just go to graphics and search for apple and select the apple that you prefer and just place the apple here. And once that is done all you have to do is come to text, select your text and type in apple like that and place the word for apple here. And from there what you simply have to do is you need to animate this apple so that it pops on the screen as it says A is for apple. Just select the apple and click on animation and from there choose the animation style that you want. And also animate the text and from there on this page we're going to remove this animation. We'll just love it to be still. So select the page and we'll scroll to the bottom and we'll click on remove animation for both the later and for the background color. So what you need to do is, since we're still on A, we're going to increase this image size up to that much. From there what we need to do is to listen to it and hear the next object that is being introduced to, to the scene. Where it brings in another element, that's where we need to cut the pages as well so that we can add another element. So listen to it. Okay, so here where it says A is for ant, so I'll click and I'll split the audio and I'll also split the pages like that. Remember A is still available on this page. So here now I need to bring in an ant. So to do that, I'll go to elements and I'll search for ant. And I'll select this ant and I'll flip this ant like that. Place this ant here and I'll come to text and write the word ant. I'll also animate the ant so that it pops to the screen when it says ant. So once I add some animation to the ant, what I need to do is to remove the animation from this word apple. So click on animation style and we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll click on delete an animation. So on this page, we want the apple just to be still without it being animated. 
So once we are done bringing in an ant, what we simply have to do is bring in an airplane as our third element. So again, we increase the size of our page for letter A like that, and we'll listen at what point is the airplane being introduced to the scene. And when you find a place where airplane is being introduced, what you simply have to do is split the audio and split the pages. There is a reason why we are splitting the pages and the audio. You will see it later. So just follow my lead. So what we simply have to do on this page, we'll go to elements again and we'll search for airplane. Select this airplane and I'll place it here like this. I'll just flip it so that it faces the other side. Good, like that. And from there, what I will need to do is I'll come to text again and I'll repeat the same process. Again, I will delete the animation of this ant. So just click on the ant and come to the animate button there and we'll scroll to the bottom and we'll remove the animation so that it just remains still on this page. Then we'll also select the word ant and we'll also remove the animation at the bottom. Once that is done, we'll select the airplane and we'll click on animate and we'll select an animation as well for the airplane and also select the text airplane and we'll also bring in an animation. Okay, so once that is done, all you have to do is repeat the same process for letter B and repeat the same process for all the letters. These videos are getting millions of views. Do not give up, do not hesitate, go for it. And if you're enjoying this video so far, do not forget to give it a like. It will really mean a lot for us. So at this point where it says B, what we simply have to do is we erase this. We'll bring the text color to the front and from there, We'll change letter A to letter B. From here, I would encourage you to change the background color to something different, maybe something yellowish. So the same process that we had done in A is the same process that we have to repeat even on B. From there, we need to cut the pages and start bringing in elements to the scene, just like the way we were doing it with the first letter. So once you finish working with letter B, the next thing that I would encourage you to do is to have some bit of spaces between your audio. So where it introduces an apple, just have a little bit of space for your audio before it introduces an ant. Same applies with an ant. Before it introduces an airplane, just have a bit of space between those two audio sounds. Then once that is done, the next thing that blends everything together and makes it so smooth is by adding in some background audio. And to do that, you can come to elements and you can search for kids songs. Well, if you do not find anything that interests you here in Canva, you can go to Epidemic Sounds. I'll leave the link in the description. Download the audio sounds that you like and just upload it to Canva. Once that is uploaded, just click on the sound like that. And once the sound is clicked, just come to the speaker here and reduce the audio sound up to that much so that it does not overlap our lesson. And once that is done, all you have to do is come to where it says a share and download your video as an mp4 file and begin uploading it to your youtube let me show you how the final product looks and let me know how you feel about the entire video in the comment section below i would really love to hear from you god bless you see you in the next video hi kids today we will learn about the letters of the alphabet number one a a is for apple a is for ant a is for airplane.